somehow the system has to be changed. And we won't quit until we play a part in making this change. Right. Tulsa community leaders calling for change following the acquittal of Officer Betty Shelby. We brought you hours of continuous team coverage last night when that verdict was announced. The latest now today, Mayor G.T. Bynum and the police chief Chuck Jordan held a news conference to discuss the verdict and the racial tensions in Tulsa. A short time later, the family of Terrence Crutcher and community activists also held a news conference at which they uh, asked for the resignation for Tulsa Homicide Sergeant Dave Walker, who testified during the trial. We have team uh, coverage for you, working to uncover every angle following this verdict. Let's get uh, reaction from all sides in this. We begin with Fox 23's Ashley Lincoln, who's reporting live with the department's future use of body cameras and Officer Shelby's employment status. Well, Clay, right now the chief has not made any decision or an announcement to decision on whether or not Betty Shelby will be allowed to return back to the force. He says right now city attorneys, along with their human resources department, they are overviewing that before they make a decision. Uh, Tulsa Police Chief Chuck Jordan says right now they're looking back and analyzing. We have a Tulsa Police Department that is absolutely committed to being one with our community. Less than 24 hours after a jury said Betty Shelby was not guilty in the 2016 killing of Terrence Crutcher, Chief Chuck Jordan says their Human Resources Department and city attorneys are overlooking her employment status. And there should be uh, some result uh, come out of that in the very near future. Fox 23 told you when the district attorney Attorney's office charged Shelby with first degree manslaughter. Shelby was placed on non paid administrative leave. We are in unanimous agreement that issues of racial disparity in Tulsa need to be addressed. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum says this case has brought up the bigger issue of the racial divide seen in Tulsa. This is something that Tulsans have been talking about for a hundred years and have not succeeded in addressing. Bynum says they plan on having body cameras for the police department by the end of the year. He says they have several initiatives in place to add transparency to the police department and improve relationships with the community. We acknowledge the long, difficult road that we have as a city to equity. And during this news conference, the media, we, we were not allowed to ask Bynum or Jordan any questions. They simply just read their statements to us. Reporting live from downtown, covering news that matters, I'm Ashley Lincoln, Fox 23 News. Now, new at 6, we're also hearing from the organization Black Lives Matter. Members telling us they are pushing for changes in police policies prompted by the shooting of Terrence Crutcher and other officer-involved shootings. They're asking for more technology specifically to be implemented so officers can be held accountable. We need them to understand that fear of those black and brown and native bodies should not result or continue to result in dead bodies in the streets without judge or jury. Tulsa are also working to establish a police and community task force to improve community relations. Say so they are working to get to a place where organizations like theirs no longer have reason to exist. Council on American Islamic Relations released a statement as well in support of Black Lives Matter. And it, the group says, quote, we support Black Lives Matter Oklahoma in their demands for the creation of a Citizens Advisory Commission and for the dismissal of Officer Shelby from the Tulsa Police Department, as well as for better policies, implicit bias training, and stronger oversight procedures. The family of Terrence Crutcher held a news conference shortly after the city and police held theirs. Family members, attorneys, church and community leaders all took the stage, calling for change in the wake of the not guilty verdict. They also called on the community to join them in a peaceful fight for change. But I refuse as a Tulsa, as a pastor, and as a community activist to let the killing of my young brothers be the new norm. As a matter of fact, it's not even a new norm, it's just an exposed norm because it's been going on for a long time. The Crutcher family said they had a long night after the verdict was announced. They said their next step will be to file a civil suit. The Tulsa County DA issued a response to the statements made today.
DA Steve Kunzweiler said he wanted to set the record straight on some issues. He said he has great respect for the work of Sergeant Dave Walker. This amid calls for Walker's termination. And he also says it is false to say the DA's office believes there is corruption within the Tulsa Police Department. He says his office prosecuted the case as they do every other case.